At this point, I am tired. Things are getting out of hand. <sighs> Maybe I'll just look it. It's not very alarming, like very alarming. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl again, Mr. J. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in and don't change the channel. If you don't know me, I film everything UK lifestyle vlog travels. If you are interested in any of this or if you think you love to see my face often, just subscribe to the channel. Please, thank you. If you live in the UK at the moment, you know what I'm talking about. If you know anyone living in the UK, you might as well know what I'm talking about. The crisis faced by low and middle income households, which include of energy, groceries, foods, transport and all of that is rising significantly at the moment in the UK while our income is not rising. Before I dive into this topic, I would like you to understand why we are actually experiencing spike in the increase of our cost of living in the UK. The high demand for oil and gas, especially during the pandemic, between 2020 to 2021 and also we all know that during the pandemic the government actually helped in one way or the other they were able to reduce VAT rates and you know some of other things like that so those benefits that we enjoy during the pandemic is what is actually bringing this looming and emergency situation shortages in staff across all different sectors has also contributed to this spike in our cost of living we all know the brexit situation so many foreigners are leaving the workforce in the uk the pandemic also contributed and because of this loads of things are actually skyrocketing in price and lastly shortages of some good supply across the globe due to disruption or one thing or the other has also contributed to why so many things are increasing in price and in cost uk inflation has reached a rise of about 6.2 percent and this is the highest it has been in almost 30 years unfortunately according to the economists not excluding the bank of england they stated that this 6.2 percent might actually rise to 8 percent in coming weeks and the current emergency is particularly severe because it is driven by several other factors and what does this mean this means that prices are rising across boards guys it's not just in one area maybe just food or groceries it's rising across all boards across all aspects of our living guys when i saw my payslip this month for NHS workers, for nurses, for doctors, there will be like a 5.5% increase in our contribution. Goodness, when I saw it, I was like, what? And you know, the downplay of this is that our income is not increasing. A health and social care levy of 1.25% will also be added to our national insurance. I'd like to talk about how this rise in cost of living will impact so many households in the UK. Number one is the inflation. According to the Office for National Statistics in the UK, the UK's inflation rate actually rose from 5.5% that it was in January. January 2022, I mean, it rose to 6.2%. In February 2022 that is such a significant rise and according to them they stated that it's been a while that they actually experienced such a rise over a short period of time overall most households will actually experience a decline in their standard of living next I'll just like to talk about how this rise in cost of living we actually affect I and you and our households in this serious emergency according to market analysts this February alone, February 2022, I mean, the prices for food and groceries have risen at the fastest pace, eating about 4.3% increase. Like this is the highest it has been in eight years, guys. In eight years, the price for food has not risen this much in the UK. I can remember when I came in, guys, some things like a bottle of milk that you buy for one pound is now one pound eighty-five. <laughs> especially for people that are now shop in some very expensive shops for me now i shop in lidl i shop in uh, lidl like lidl lidl in prices <laughs> you know i go there for purpose because it's lidl lidl <laughs> in prices for people that shop in waitrose you know you shop in sainsbury on a steady it's actually um very obvious that these shops of the these uh, departmental stores they have uh, higher prices for a single person like me, I complain, let alone someone who has four or five children. 
even if you don't have children i can imagine the pressure and not to shock you guys this is a shocker according to statistics or projections this inflation for food and groceries is about to actually increase in spring and this is because of the ukrainian and the russian war there there is a break or disruption in our food supply into the uk so as a result of this food prices is about to steeply increase oh goodness i'm not ready <laughs> i'm not just ready guys let's talk about how this rise in cost of living we affect our national insurance and taxes so for the national insurance the uk treasury have actually looked into cutting some you know costs in the nhs they want to cut some covid backlogs and also begin to fund social care from next month this month april to may 2022 there will be a rise of about 12 billion in the national insurance of the uk and they are actually gonna get this increase or this rise from you and her you are working person in the uk so it's going to eat the workforce <laughs> the, the employ the employed ones we are the ones working and sometimes it feels like we are the ones suffering moreover a health and social care levy of about 1.25 percent will also be added to our national insurance in short our national insurance for nhs staff for employers for uh, self-employed Everyone is about to also increase, you know, and then don't forget that our income is not actually getting increased. So next, this is one of the interesting ones that I know you must have observed if you live in the UK. That's the energy bills. <laughs> the electric and the gas. This is no jokes. According to an article that I saw online, guys, it stated that April is the will be the cruelest month for UK residents. I can exp I've experienced it first time guys and i can tell you that for free i will insert a picture somewhere that was what i received just yesterday of the bill i'll be paying at the end of this month april for my gas and electric bill when i saw it like what that was such a lot of money about 200 pounds something in february the regulator for energy in the uk they are known as ofgem ofgem they actually stipulated that there will be about 54 percent that's more than half guys 54 percent rise in the uh, cap fee or cap price of energy in the uk but those of us on default tariffs paying by direct debit we actually experienced an increase of about 693 pounds like what and unfortunately guys according to an article i read on national express this pain will actually get worse because According to projections, there will also be a rise in the price cap of energy in October 2022. If you are new to the UK or you don't know, this is not the time to waste energy or waste gas. Thank God it's summer now. Luckily for us, you don't have to actually put on your eater you know, often or like in the winter season. If possible, you can ask your energy provider to British Gas and all of that to give you like a smart meter so you can get to regulate or observe your own energy level by yourself because i can't keep paying such an exorbitant price for co for cost of energy gas and electric the most things i do with light is to watch tv once in a while wash do laundry use my eat my dryer and my washing machine once in a while like once or twice in a week you know i budget my electric uh usage or consumption so i can't keep paying such large amount of money so if you're like me you can switch to the pay as a pay as you use kind of system and also get a smart meter so you can get to regulate these things by yourself because it's getting out of hand and like i said unfortunately it's not ending anytime soon i like to talk about how these things will affect our water views so according to the industry body water in uk they stipulated that our water bill is about to rise by 1.7 percent increase in april for residents in england and in wales what does this mean this means that this will push up a typical uh, annual bill like a typical water annual bill from seven pounds to about 419 pounds in a year and then it was also confirmed that some households it can be your household <laughs> and it can be my household <laughs> we will experience a rise of about 10 percent in the money that we'll pay per year for our water bills in the uk 
<sighs> I can only exclaim at this point. The industry body water in UK actually shared some tips that might help you and I to actually save costs for our water usage. Number one is try to fix your dripping and leaked taps and also get an efficient shower head. This is not the time to spend too many hours or minutes in the shower. I know this is referring to myself too because I'm those I'm one of those who spend about 45 minutes in the shower. So now smush is enough. It's one of the factors of our living in the UK that has also been greatly affected by this rise in cost of living is council tax. And it's so surprising that many people don't know how high council tax is in the UK. It can be quite overwhelming. And we have different bands of council tax ranging from band A to band H. So your house can actually fall within any of these bands. So it is confirmed that council tax will also rise by 3.5% starting from april 2022 a single or your student you, they would ex um they would offer you um a discount so that pays you in a way next i would like to talk about how this rise in cost of living has also affected travel part of march rail fares rose by 3.8 percent before like a month or two months ago whenever i want to travel by train i didn't actually have the rail card i don't know due to one reason or the other i just didn't buy the real card but guys when i started experiencing that surge in the fare for real uh travels and all of that i had to get a real card so this is to implore you if you're watching this video and you live in the uk try to get a real card if you download train line on your phone you can find it on apple store or play store you can actually get to buy in app or you go on google type out to get a real card in uk get a real card because trust me it has helped me in so many ways because i travel a lot sometimes according to official inflation projections in the uk commuters are actually about to be hit with the biggest um rise or increase in the fare for rail tickets um since records began so what does this mean it means that ticket prices are actually about to increase by about 10 percent like guys if you ask me that's quite a lot like i said for people that travel often so you might actually have to consider getting real uh, real cards having to analyze <laughs> the essentiality if there's anything like that of your travel so that's actually what you need to consider what's the aim of your travel you know what's the distance you're traveling and some of other factors i need to consider before embarking on any journey in the uk now so next i'd like to talk about the increase in broadband subscription for a mobile phone and also tv i learned that for bt and ee there will be about an increase of about 5.3 percent to 9.1 percent in the price that their customers pay starting from 31st of march and for some of us that like to actually order stuff online you know shopping baby girl life we try to buy stuffs online and avoid going to shops unfortunately i have good news <laughs> we like the good news i have news for you i'm bringing forth news for you so permit me to read for royal mail stamps okay guys they also announced that the price of first and second class stamps will increase from fourth of april so we're already experiencing that because this is past the stipulated time the price of a first class stamp will rise by 10p to 95p guys like what with the second class stamp going up by 2p to 68p like ha. so if you are a regular stamp buyer it's worth getting your purchase in before the prices rise but it's too late unfortunately the prices have risen so what do you do whenever you want to buy stuffs just try to bulk buy next i would like to talk about how you can actually save yourself from some of these exorbitant increase and hike in prices fees subscriptions so number one i think this is the best time to actually be a savage like i'm a savage like you have to savvy on your spending you have to trace most of your direct debits there are some applications that you can download on your phone on your system I have like a spreadsheet to help you trace or uh, keep an, a track or keep high on most of your spendings this is also the best time to put a call through or check with your broadband or phone uh, network provider to ensure that you are on the best 
deal subscription and in the uk there are always sales going here and there this might be the time to jump on different sales you can use an app that is linked to your bank account and an application like emma or spreadsheets I'll put the link in the description box like that hammer you can use it it will help you to track your expenses your expenditures and even your income at the end of the month it will actually show you where any bill have risen or if there's any significant increase in anything that you're buying or anything that you are doing and this will help you keep track on your expenditure and there will also be comparisons of where you can get cheaper services and cheaper goods and products once you understand your spending you can actually reprioritize a lot of things you can push back on buying lunch you know you can also reduce your takeaways for people that like to buy food all the time maybe this is the time to actually try to cook more in the house try to stock your fridge with more fresh and organic foods because cooking in-house actually helps you to save money budgeting budgeting you have to budget even before your income comes you budget a lot in the uk because without budgeting you just see that at the end of the month or before the end of the month you're already trying you're running out of funds you're already trying to borrow money from other people there are plenty of free budgeting tools that we have out there so we have um money helper budget planner you can download them online um they help you to understand exactly how your money is being spent and how much you've got coming at the end of the month focus more on your own financial situation rather than being overwhelmed by the news and all of that and before you know it, you see that you are not in much trouble why we can't ignore the challenges many people are facing you and i can have it better but there are actually people out there who are not finding this increase and hike in prices funny at all but wherever category you belong to i want you to understand that you are not at the end of this video guys i hope you <laughs> learned one or two things and i hope you follow some of the things that are I've stated in this video if you've not subscribed to my channel please do and give this video a big thumbs up like share ultimately subscribe it is very important i'll see you guys in my next video until then you know i will do it peace and light always